and welcome. This video is part of a series. I hope you've enjoyed the series so much. And if you haven't watched it, I'll be sure to look back and watch all the other videos. There should be a link in the description of this video and at the end of this video, if I remember to put it there. Sometimes I forget. Uh, and we've been working with an Android phone. Uh, we've been working with this Motorola G4 uh, Play. Um, but what we're doing, most of it should be very similar to most Android devices. We just finished putting Lineage OS on there. We also put Twerp uh, Custom Recovery on there after uh, flashing the bootloader. Uh, and as I mentioned in the last video, uh, most of these mods, when you put them on there, don't have Google Play services, Google Apps, uh, the Google Store, that sort of thing, uh, because of, you know, legal issues. Uh, and maybe you want them, maybe you modded it so you, because you don't want those things. But if you did, today we're going to show you how to put those on there with OpenG Apps. So, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm still at the load screen, the welcome screen from the first boot here. I'm just going to power this off by holding down the power button until the screen comes up. And I'm going to hit power off. And I'm going to wait for it to completely shut off. And just like in our other videos, I'm going to hold down the bottom volume button and uh, the power button. So hold down both of those. After a few seconds, I'm going to go ahead and let go of the power button and we should get our bootloader screen here. And if that didn't work, it's because I didn't wait for it to completely shut off <laughs> when I did that. Hopefully it's off by now. Volume down and power button for a few seconds. Go ahead and let go of that. And there we go. We got our little Android guy with his stomach open up, ready for surgery, as well as a bunch of information about this phone. I'm going to go uh, down twice till we see recovery mode here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button. We got our bootloader is unlocked screen because we've unlocked our bootloader. And then we should get our team win recovery project welcome screen since that's what we put on there. If you're not getting that, then you need to go back in the previous videos until you get to this point. Now, since we've already restarted our phone and booted into Lineage OS, we're probably going to have to do a factory reset, which is as simple as going into our uh, recovery and doing a factory reset. Uh, otherwise, you'll probably get errors trying to load these apps on there. They need to be there during the first boot of the phone, which we have already done. So let's go ahead and do a factory reset real quick. To do a factory reset on the phone, we're basically going to go wipe everything. So uh, in Twerp, we're going to go to wipe. Let's go ahead and go to advanced. And we'll probably just check hmm, all these top ones. Uh, we don't have to worry about the SD card or the USB. We'll go ahead and do a wipe which shouldn't take very long. And once that's done, we can continue with what we were doing. Next, we go to the OpenG Apps uh, website, which is opengapps.org, or just Google it, it should come up. And when you get to your home screen, you're gonna have some options here. You need to pick the proper processor for your phone. If it's a phone or a tablet, it's most likely gonna be ARM, or ARM64. Particular phone we're working with is ARM. And then the version of Android you're running, which I'm just installed Lineage OS, which the current version, uh, I believe, is 7.1. Uh, and then you have a variant. So the variant is basically there's different versions of OpenG apps, and all the way from a minimal, the very minimum stuff you need, to a full blown uh, Android or Google package. Uh, so you may want to play around with this, depending on how many of those services you need out of the box. Uh, I am going to go with the Nano today, which is probably a third from the bottom. Uh, and But the bigger package you get, the bigger it is. Uh, and I'm not really sure, you know, some phones may not be able to take the full versions and some might need more than the less, but Nano is what I normally pick in the past. So that's what I'm going to pick today. So if you look right here, you can see the size of this package. The Nano is 186.6 uh, megabytes at the current build. And as I choose different versions, you can see the size change all the way up to the top here, which is home almost a gig. Um, and also as you hover over the different options, it gives you a little more information on uh, what's in that package. But again, I'm going to go with the Nano and I'm going to go ahead and click this download button and it should start downloading a zip file for you. Now we do need to get this zip file onto the phone. If you have an SD card, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my USB port and since we're already in our recovery, we should be able to copy that over with ADB. Just make sure we're connected to the phone properly. I am going to ADB shell. Now depending on the permissions on your system for your user, you may have have to sudo and run that, but actually once you run it once, the service is running in the background, so you'll be able to run it again without sudo. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I now have a shell on my phone, a root shell, since I'm in the recovery, and there are no users in recovery other than root. Real quick, I am going to cd forward slash sd card, and then list out and see that I have some files and folders in there. Now this phone actually doesn't have an SD card in it. A lot of newer phones have gotten rid of SD card slots, not a decision that I'm extremely happy with, but 
whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, basically what this is calling your SD card is actually going to be internal storage on most newer phones if you don't have an SD card slot. But that's where we're going to put it. If you don't have that internal storage, uh, you might have to find where the internal storage is because there should be some. It may not be an SD card. If you go there and you can't get access to it, uh, that means that it's not available. Uh, and you'll have to find the other one or put the SD card in there. Either way, this is probably where you want to put it. Basically, if you have an SD card slot, put the SD card in there. If not, it's going to put it to the internal storage of the phone. At this point, I can type in exit to get back to the shell on my computer. I'm in the current directory where I downloaded the zip file to. At this point, I'm just going to push uh, the file over to it. Now, I'm using ADB, but you should be able to also uh, mount those drives with your with your computer. Uh, but SDB is a, or sorry, ADB is an easy way to do that. So I'm just ADB uh, push the name of the file we just downloaded, the zip file, and then space and where on the phone you want to put. So I'm going to do forward slash SD card, forward slash, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and you can see that it is copying the file to the SD card folder on the phone. Once your zip file has been copied over to the phone, you can go ahead and click install, and it should bring you right to the SD card folder on the phone. If for some reason you're not in the SD card folder, let's say you're in the root folder, uh, you just want to level up till you get to the root folder. Scroll down till you get to SD card, or yeah, SD card. Choose that, and you'll see your zip file there if you copied over to the proper spot. We'll go ahead and select that. We'll go ahead and choose to reboot after the installation is complete, and we will swipe to flash. Con confirm flash. Uh, in the last video when we flashed Lineage OS, we did a side load instead of copying the zip file over. We can do the same thing with the OpenG apps here, uh, which it will, which it will also solve the problem of do you have an SD card in there or not. You can see here step by step as it installs each of the applications that you previously didn't have that are Google applications. And um, the copy over doesn't take very long, it's not a big file, but uh, installation will take a couple minutes. Uh, but it looks like we're, we're definitely uh, about a little more than halfway and it's probably been about a minute. So this shouldn't take more than two or three minutes to do. One of the nice things about doing all this sort of stuff, the modding on the phone, you know, the, the custom recovery, the custom mods, installing these apps, is all of them have uh, headers in them that tell them what they're supposed to work with. So if you try installing the wrong thing, uh, it won't let you unless you try to force it. This helps prevent you from breaking your phone, which really isn't an issue if, as long as you don't mess up your, your bootloader, uh, you should always be able to fix your phone uh, uh, with something. If you mess up the bootloader, uh, I can't help you too much. Let's see. Phone is locked while I was waiting. Uh, G apps is finished installing. We have no errors. We're going to go ahead and do a reboot. We'll go ahead and swipe that. And again, we did a factory reset on this phone. So basically, we're booting it for the first time again with Lineage OS and the Google apps. And last time, it probably took a good three or four, maybe a little bit more for that initial boot. So that's going to be happening again this time. Uh, so just be patient with it. Here we are on the initial boot. We'll click next, next, uh, skip the SIM card since I don't have one. Uh, we set up as new. Okay, it's checking for updates. And this time around, since we installed the OpenG apps, it's going to ask me for a Google sign in, which I can skip, uh, but let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and skip that. <laughs> Skip that. Okay, I just kept clicking next until I got to the end. We can go ahead and start. And we're at our home screen here. Got it. And you can see the Google icon there, the Play Store there. So we can now go into the Play Store. Of course, we'd have to log in with an account, which I haven't done yet. And that is how you install OpenG apps, your Google applications, on a custom ROM such as Lineage OS. I thank you for watching this. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to check out the links in the description of the video, uh, which will bring you to this full playlist. My website, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Uh, at my website, you can go to the support section. You can support me either through PayPal or through Patreon. If you don't have any money, that's cool. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. That helps out a lot. Thanks for watching, and always, I hope that you have a great day.